Okay, one of the questions I am most commonly asked is like, why don't you believe in the Big Bang? Let me explain to you that every scientist is agnostic, arrogant, mm -hmm. and doesn't try to look at proof, but try to look at their own opinion. And that's what is one of the outcomes that brought up the Big Bang. Now the Big Bang, basically it's illogical. Can you calculate what happened in a trillionth of a trillionth of a second? First nothing happened, then nothing exploded, and everything happened. Is, is that the Big Bang? Exactly. And second of all, the laws of thermodynamics in says that matter can't create itself, so there must be something before matter in order to create matter, like the creationism theory or theories related to that. Now I look at the Big Bang and I look at that it has no 100% experimental proof but just assumptions and there are theories like that in physics that we need to look at especially in theoretical physics and quantum field theory. And where are the particles of life like carbon and things like that. Like, wh wh where are they? Where are the metals? Wh wh where are those stuff in and life-sustaining chemicals in the Big Bang? And things like that. I mean, I know the hydrogen and helium and the ball of fire and everything, but where's the rest wh of the elements? And questions like these need to be answered when looking at the Big Bang. Because people teach it to their students, people teach it to scientists, pe professors teach it to their class, things like that. They they mm -hmm. give tests on that, they make you recite it, and things like that in society, even though there's no proof of the theory. It shouldn't even be called a theory, it should be called a hypothesis, like the Big Bang hypothesis, but not a theory. Because it's not even verified, really.